Hi, this is Hector Garcia, CPA, Advanced QuickBooks Pro Advisor, and Intuit Premier Reseller. I'm going to talk about two features in QuickBooks Enterprise Accountant Edition called Accountant's Copy and Send General Journal Entries. Now we're talking about the desktop edition of QuickBooks, not the online edition. And the desktop edition is really split into two groups. The enterprise editions, often called enterprise silver, gold, platinum, or accountant, which is the one that we're using for this video. And also the lower end editions, which are usually called QuickBooks Desktop Pro or QuickBooks Premier Edition. Now, in, if your client, assuming you're an accounting professional, is working with QuickBooks Desktop Pro or QuickBooks Desktop Premier, you will need the QuickBooks Desktop Accountant Edition of QuickBooks to be able to support their file. Now, if your client or the end user is using QuickBooks Enterprise Edition, you as the accounting professional QuickBooks consultant need to have the Accountant Edition, QuickBooks Enterprise Accountant Edition, in order to be able to use these two features that we're gonna showcase in this video. Now, these two features are part of six exclusive features that are only available in the Accountant Edition of QuickBooks, such as the ability to toggle QuickBooks editions, so your QuickBooks file looks exactly like the client if they happen to have Premier uh, Contractor Edition or Non-Profit Edition, or a wholesale and manufacturing edition, whatever they happen to have, you can actually toggle with your accountant edition so yours looks exactly like your clients. Now you also have the accountant center and the client data review and the QuickBooks file manager, which are exclusive features that are only available for the accountant edition of QuickBooks. Let's start with the accountant's copy. So let's make the assumption that this is the end user, the small business, that's actually going to send a copy of the QuickBooks file to their accountant. So what they do is they click on the file menu, then click on create copy. And then one of the options here is accountant's copy. Now, when they click on next, it's going to ask him, Hey, are you sure you're trying to do an accountant's copy or are you trying to send a duplicate, a portable or a backup to your accountant? So we'll talk about that in a second. But for now, let's discuss on accountant's copy. So they're going to click on accountant's copy, then click next. And then it's going to ask them the magic question. It says, hey, what is the dividing date? So what the dividing date means is as of what date you want the accountant to work all the way up to that date. So anything before that date and from what date forward, you want the QuickBooks users to be able to continue to work at the file without having any service interruption. So let's say for example, that the cutoff date is June 30th, 2021. So I'm gonna put there 06302021. So that will be the cutoff date. So anything before that, the accountant will be able to work with and everything afterwards, the QuickBooks end user, the small business will be working on those dates. And then after I click next, it's gonna ask me, where would you like to save the accountant's copy? Now be aware that the accountant's copy is called a transfer file. This one ends with the extension QBX. This is the one that the actual end user is going to email or give to the accountant in some sort of portable drive. So we're gonna go ahead and save that. And when it's complete, it'll just give you a quick warning letting you know what happened. We created an accountant's copy. We have a cutoff date. Make sure that you give that copy to your accountant somehow via email or a CD or a portable drive of some sort and make sure you understand that you're going to be working under certain restrictions. Now, while you're out in accountant's copy, you're going to notice on the top part of the screen is going to say accountant's changes pending. It's just letting the user know that this file has been split and there's an actual accountant's copy outstanding. There's a great article in the Intuit help website that actually walks you through exactly how accountant's copy works, what you can do and what you cannot do while the accountant's copy is out. There's actually some restrictions that ensure database integrity to make sure there's no problems when the data is coming back to the end user from the accountant. Now let's hop over to what it will look like on the accountant side. So let's say, for example, I'm the accounting professional and I got the accountant's copy from my customer. So what I do is I click on the file menu, click on open and restore company file, and then I'm going to pick 
convert an accountant's copy transfer file. As I mentioned earlier, the original accountant's copy is called a transfer file. So I'm gonna click on next and then just kind of hit next and follow the process. There really isn't much that I have to do at this point. I just have to select the accountant's copy in whatever media format I happen to have it in or my desktop or whatever. I click on open and again, I follow the procedures and I save the file that, that I'm gonna be working on. This is called the accountant's uh, working file. And when I'm logged in into my client's accountant's copy, the experience is pretty much seamless. I'm working on my version of QuickBooks with a copy of the file, but I'm gonna have restrictions. I cannot make any changes past that cutoff period. So for example, let's say I'm in the check register and I try to delete a transaction that's after the cutoff period, I'm gonna get the same error saying, hey, by the way, you have a cutoff period, you can only work under that specific date that was set by your customer. So when I'm done making all the changes, so let's say for example, I'm gonna make a change to one of these transactions, I'll change the, the dollar amount, whatever it happens to be, and just imagine that maybe I'm also making journal entries, reconciling bank accounts, doing different things to make adjustments to the client's file. When I'm, when I'm done doing all these changes, then I'm gonna send my client or export the changes. So I'm gonna to go to file, send company file, accountant's copy, view and export changes for client. So when I click on that, it's basically going to tell me, hey, in summary, these are all the things that we changed and what you're gonna send the client is basically a file that's gonna instruct their copy of QuickBooks to change all those transactions. So at this point, I can actually click on save PDF or print if I wanna have a log of what I changed, or I can just click on send changes to client to send it digitally via a secure email, or I can click on create change file and then maybe just save it into my desktop or some media format and then send it over to the client side. And now let's assume that we're back in the client side. I'm the QuickBooks small business user now, and I'm gonna receive the changes or import the changes from the accountant that they made. So I'm gonna click on file, send company file, accountant's copy, client activities, import changes either from the web, if it was sent digitally or from file. So when I click on import changes from file, I now select my file that I got from my accountant. I hit on open. QuickBooks will give me a summary of all the changes, including any notes that the accountant put in there. I can print it or save it for my backup. And then I click on incorporate accountant's changes and I hit okay. And that may take a couple of minutes, depending on how many changes it is. And then every single thing that the accountant did will be now restored in my file as the small business user or as the end user. Now that was accountant's copy. The alternative method to accountant's copy is that the QuickBooks end user will send the accountant a backup or a portable of the whole file without any cutoff dates, without any restrictions. And then the accountant only makes journal entries or it's assumed that that's the only thing they're gonna do. So basically they're just gonna go to file, create copy and either select backup or portable copy physically give that file to the accountant, and then the accountant will open it and make some journal entries. So let's say as the accountant, I'm finished making some journal entries, and then I'm ready to send my client those journal entries I created. So I'm gonna go to the accountant menu, send general journal entries, and then it's gonna ask me which of the journal entries that you created are the ones that are gonna be sent to the client. Now making the assumption that maybe the client, the end user doesn't make a whole bunch of journal entries and the only journal entries that were there will be from the accountant. But anyway, at that point you can choose. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the day range that I wanna choose from. And let's say for example that as the accountant, I only made these two journal entries on the screen and I can actually click on each one and preview them in the bottom. So I'm gonna to go to email as attachment or save as file, either one. And it's gonna create a special file that basically just contains general journal information. So again, I'm either gonna email it or send it to my client with some USB or CD or some portable device. And finally, assuming that I'm back on my client side, they're gonna click on the file menu, utilities, import, general journal entries. And they're gonna select the file that they either got emailed or they got with some portable media device, click on open, and it'll give you a preview saying, hey, by the way, these are the journal entries 
that your accountant is trying to send you. You're able to preview them and you're able to select which ones you're gonna import. Hopefully they'll import them all. Then you click on add general journal entry and then you hit okay. And basically both of those journal entries will be created, including any new accounts being created in the process. So if you need more information about QuickBooks Enterprise Accountant Edition or to purchase it, you can call the number on the screen or click on the link that I'm gonna put in the description below that you're seeing in the screen at the moment. I hope you really enjoy QuickBooks Accountant and QuickBooks Enterprise Accountant Edition and that it really improves your workflow.